Hello Capricorn, welcome to another love reading. We're gonna be looking at what's going on for you in love, past, present, and future energies, as well as the energies between you and the person that you might be dealing with. Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Capricorn watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you. Messages, please guidance for Capricorn. For the sign of Capricorn. What do we need to know? What do we need to know, Spirit? For Capricorn. What do we need to know? For Capricorn, past, present, future. Wow, Ace of Cups. What do we need to know for Capricorn? I'm just gonna take that as like a general position there. Okay, past energies, seven of swords, current energies, the lovers, ace of cups. Yeah, I feel like this is kind of what's going on right now. Wow, near future energies, the knight of cups. Okay, on your side, we have the page of pentacles. Seven of Wands. On their side, we have the Magician and Judgment. So they want something. They want to manifest something, make something happen here. And then I feel like it's an offer. I think this might be somebody coming in with an offer of love or an apology. We'll see. Bottom of the deck. Overall energy, the Seven of Cups. Choices, options. Okay, let's get a little bit more insight. For Capricorn Spirit, what else do we need to know? What are the energies surrounding Capricorn for love? What are the energies surrounding Capricorn for love? Married souls, soulmates, mutual feelings, fate. Capricorn, I'm really hoping this is someone new coming in for you. Someone that you see eye to eye with. A new beginning in love. The Ace of Cups is here. I think you might have more than one option with the Seven of Cups, though. Can I get one more for the energies for Capricorn? Oh, I got two. New beginnings. Oh, yeah. I love this energy. And coming together. This is so nice. I love... um coming together in Merit Souls for uh, these two are like my little soulmate cards of this deck. We're only missing true love. All right, Capricorn, I'm excited. Let me not get ahead of myself, though. Let's clarify these energies. I'm really hoping that this is new love and you have the choice between, you know, more than one person. I got some insight, please. Some clarity for Capricorn. What do we need to know? What do we need to know? For Capricorn, what do we need to know? Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Why is the Seven of Cups here, Spirit? What's the Seven of Cups about? Queen of Cups. Move these over. Okay, this is the overall energy, kind of the root of everything that's happening. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy with the Queen of Cups. Tell me more about the Seven of Cups. Maybe this is you following your heart. Oh, okay. King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. I feel like you're kind of torn between what your heart might be telling you and like your logical side. Yeah, Eight of Wands, the Hangman, and Page of Swords. I feel like someone's going to be, um, you're going to be getting some sort of like information here. Uh, Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I think that someone, you're going to get, okay, let me just get myself together. Um, with the Page of Swords and the Eight of Wands, I instantly thought like online, I always think online when I have these two together, something online, like information online, discovering things, online dating, etc. I think you're evaluating your choices, what you want to do in regards to love. And I feel like you're fighting yourself a little bit between like what your mind might be telling you, the more logical side, and then 
the, you know, your feelings. I'm also getting that for some of you, there's someone that's like pestering. I'm, that's what I'm getting, pestering. Like they're, they're trying to talk to you. And it's almost like a pestering energy that I'm getting. Like you don't really want to be dealing with them right now, but they want to talk. They're very uh, insistent, whoever this is. Okay, so tell me about this Seven of Swords. I feel like something happened in the recent past or in your past, like, uh, love life where it wasn't the best. I feel like someone maybe wasn't truthful or wasn't, you know, wasn't who you thought they were. I'm not getting deception, like, clearly here, so we'll see. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. What's the Seven of Swords about? Page of Wands, Temperance, Sagittarius Energy with Temperance. Wow, Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups again. I feel like there's someone you don't trust in your past. I think a lot of you are trying to like forget the past and move on towards this new energy. Because the Page of Wands is here. It could also be that there's someone from your past that you don't trust that's like nagging you for, that's the word, nagging you, pestering you for a new beginning. I see both ways. And like with temperance, it's almost like you're trying to be patient, trying not to lose it, trying to keep your cool. Yeah. There's a bird in here, Ten of Wands. That is has, that has to do with the past, Capricorn. And that does fit with the comments that I've been getting from the Capricorn Collective on my previous uh, readings for you guys. Uh, a lot of you are just ready for something new and this is kind of just kind of like in the way this past energy others of you i feel like even if you're not ready to say goodbye to the past let's say you're still interested in someone from the past they're not bringing you the energy that you need right now you know so it's almost like they're they're not you're you're not able to open that door because they're not bringing you what you need to see or hear Tell me about the lovers and the ace of cups. Love this energy. Tell me about the lovers and the ace of cups. Oh yeah, empress energy, love it. Can I get some more please for the lovers and the ace of cups? Three of swords and the nine of pentacles. Yeah, four of wands. I feel like you're getting something in the midst of all of this BS that you've been dealing with, Capricorn. I think there's a shift happening for you in love. And I've gotten that in other readings as well. It, it just keeps coming up for you. And I feel like spirit is almost like, you know, they're like beating you over the head with it. That there's something coming that's new. Something beautiful. Something that's worth your time. Empress energy, nine of pentacles, four of wands. Something that is at your level. And I feel like, you know, be very careful, Capricorn, that you don't miss this opportunity, you know. Spirit can only show you the door. It's up to you to walk through it. And that's something some people miss with tarot readings. They think, oh, the cards say it's going to happen. It's definitely going to happen. That's not how tarot works. Tarot shows you the potential, the subconscious what can be if certain choices are made, you know? I mean, Tarot could say, oh, your ex is coming back. They're going to want to talk to you. But if that ex shows up and you shut that door in their face, <laughs> it's not going to matter what that energy is about. Does that make sense? And I feel like um, some of you, I think you're being rewarded, really. Um, and I think you're fighting yourself a little bit because... The past is not so easy to cut off, right? There's, you know, because these are energetic attachments. So they're not something that even if you physically separate yourself, it's not so easy to just cut that thread, right? But I feel like Spirit is saying, this is what you can have, Capricorn. This is what's coming towards you. If only you're open for it. Oh my gosh, the devil was about to show itself to me. That's your energy. All right, tell me about the Knight of Cups. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. 
the Hierophant, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, Taurus energy with the Hierophant. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. Wow, the world. This is beautiful energy. And the Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I feel like someone's showing up. That's exactly what you've been wanting. Yeah, it's like this is a whole new beginning for you. And I think I'm almost getting this ultimatum energy where you're, you're going to have to decide for good what you're going to do about the past energy, you know? And I sense that, you know, the reason I'm kind of like warning you about the opportunity and missing it is because you have the seven of wands in your energy here. So I'm, I'm almost getting like a resistance on your end here, or maybe you're just protecting yourself right now. Not really here for the BS, only here for what's genuine what's actually good for you, you know, because this page of pentacles I feel is an offer with a lot of promise. So let's see what we get here. Tell me about the seven of wands and the page of pentacles. Can you tell me about this energy? Seven of wands, page of pentacles, ace of swords, clarity, truth, communication, so many aces here. Can I get some insight, please? Three of Wands, Nine of Wands. Yeah, protective. You're 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 guard, you're guarding yourself. Yeah, and then the Eight of Swords. I think your mind. You, it's almost like your mind is playing tricks on you, or your mind is going a mile a minute here. You're overthinking, perhaps, or needing to like take deep breaths to really evaluate what you want your future to be like. I see you looking ahead. Three of Wands. Hold on. I see you looking ahead, but it's almost like you need more clarity, more information. It's like you need to, um, it, maybe you don't trust yourself. Tell me about this three of wands. Maybe you're waiting for, I don't know. Yeah, look at this. The fool, it's, you're ready for this new beginning, but then there's the seven of wands. I feel like there, there could be doubts here, insecurities. You know, if this is a new job offer, for example, some of you might be doubting your, your abilities and wondering if this is really the route you're supposed to go on. I feel like a lot of you need to have a little bit more faith in what could be, you know, and you're showing up as Empress energy. So, you know, I feel like there might be, you know, I really hope that the past energy, the Seven of Swords is not playing with your head because I feel like that Seven of Cups, when I saw it, I was thinking... Maybe Capricorn's being nagged by the past when what they really want is the future. You know, it's almost like, let me go so that I can move on with the future. But since you are kind of stuck in the middle there, you question things or perhaps you're, you don't know what to do. You know, you don't know how to react, how to make something happen or how to accept something with confidence, right? I think Spirit is telling you to go for it. Despite the fear and despite the doubts. Ah, yeah, look at this, the chariot. Just in case you wanted um, some more confirmation. Here's the chariot with the queen of pentacles and the ten of cups. Cancer energy with the chariot. Moving forward towards your ten of cups. It's beautiful energy. So tell me about this other person here. Tell me about the magician and judgment. Tell me about the Magician and Judgment. Page of Pentacles. Tell me about the Magician and Judgment. The Devil, Capricorn, there you are, and the High Priestess. Yeah, one more, please. The Lovers, Knight of Wands, the Star, Aquarius energy. Hmm. I'm, I'm wondering if this is... Oh, okay, there's judgment. So when I see judgment with the magician, I instantly think of someone wanting to revive something, bring something back to life. Um, someone who might want a, a new cycle to begin now that they've learned certain lessons. But I don't know. I feel like um, with the high priestess and the devil with the knight of wands, I'm almost getting like someone that's, secretly uh planning a move on you or secretly wanting to you know move towards you have this page of pentacles and the star i think this might be a past energy
And I think this is this is the problem that this is probably a soulmate or someone you had a very strong connection with. Someone that makes you, I don't know, it's, it's almost, this is someone that you can't shake. I'm speaking to a Capricorn and if you've resonated with my other reading that came up in the past readings as well, this is someone you can't easily shake off, which is very frustrating, but they're there. Um, I don't think that, I think what's happening, the shift that's happening here, let me just see this, King of Cups, King of, yeah. I think the shift that's happening here is that you're going to have someone new coming to your life. I don't know if you're going to be dating other people, doing online dating, matchmaking, networking, meeting people at work, meeting people through friends. You're going to be meeting someone that will spark this. It's almost like um, you meet someone that you see potential with, with the world here, Knight of Cups, the Hierophant, there's potential for more. And I feel like this person's energy can sense that, that you might move on, that you might find someone else, that you are already meeting other people and could pick one of them instead of this person. Um, I think that's going to cause them to take some sort of action towards you. And I think they're hoping to convince you, you know, and then I feel like it's going to be up to you to kind of have, that's where that ultimatum energy comes in, where you decide if you're going to let go of the past for good or had to, you know, or pick the future. You can't do both. Okay, let's get some energies here because I'm gonna take this to the extended and I'm gonna specifically look at this new energy. I wanna look at who's that. Because I think we already know about the past. I wanna know about this new energy coming in with the Knight of Cups, the world, Ace of Cups. And I wanna see what can you expect with that? Because I feel like, I, I don't know about you Capricorn, but I'm kind of sick of the past here. Um, because I feel like, and don't get me wrong, you know, cross watchers, please do not take this as me being, you know, judgmental or anything like that. But you know, when I do these readings, I'm reading for the sign itself. Capricorn is my main priority. And I'm picking up on Capricorn's energy. You know, obviously this isn't going to resonate for every Capricorn. And obviously this is definitely not going to resonate for every cross watcher. Because everyone's situation is different. Um, I just feel like for, for this particular scenario and the energy I see here, if the past was meant to work out, it would have. That's kind of what I'm getting in these recent readings. So all that is really happening is that the new, the new cycle is being blocked in a way or the opportunity could be missed right so it's decision time right does capricorn choose to fix things with the past and try again there or do they choose the future capricorn let me know in the comments what you're what you're going to choose if you had this choice presented to you tell me more about the energies for capricorn in love spirit tell me more about the energies for capricorn coffin yeah endings something's over something's done something needs to be buried yeah privileged lady that's that nine of pentacles um i feel like a lot of you you know it's like you're ready for what you deserve your it's your glow up you've invested in yourself and it's like you're ready you're ready for something new look at this energy i'm done with this i'm ready to do me that's that energy that i see there can i get one more please Four i mean look at this energy over here new beginnings coming together with your mirrored soulmate come on like religious factors okay so spirit is involved here possibly divine timing what else what else do we need to know for capricorn honeymoon okay so i feel like literally what i'm getting with this energy is spirit is steering the boat you know they're setting you up for something else bottom of the deck love yourself first okay so let me get one energy for this other person here and then in the extended i'll also pick some energies for the new person 
Spray, can you tell me about this person that Capricorn is, has, or will be dealing with here? What do we need to know about this person's energy here? Capricorn is, has, or will be dealing with. I wish things could be different. Didn't you literally have... No, that wasn't it. That wasn't you. Someone had that... Um, I wish things could be different card. Yeah, this person wishes things could be different because it's not, you know, what they want is to heal the situation. I feel like they want a second chance or to revive something. But I feel like a lot of you are not on the same page. A lot of Capricorns that I'm reading for, you're just not on that same page with this particular person. Um, I feel like you wish things could be different, but for you, like in a whole different, it's like, I wish things could be different as in, I want a whole new life with a whole new person. And this person's thinking, I wish things could be different so I could be with Capricorn again. You know, it's just not the same page. Bottom of the deck, I want to tell you how I feel. Yeah, I do feel like this person, I think they're, they're going to feel like they need to come forward, Capricorn. And I think that's where you're having this like internal battle within yourself. Because once they show up, what are you going to do about that? What will be your response? I think that will determine the potential future that you could have in love. And I feel like some of you have already said no to that past and won't open the door. I understand that some of you, you already know that you want the future. And I'll read the comments too. <laughs> I love hearing from you guys to see where you stand but I feel like others of you you're questioning you're doubting you need a little bit more information a little more clarity a little more confirmation you're not sure if that's the answer if closing the door on the past is the answer you're not sure right so there's that like back and forth energy so I'm going to leave this here I'm going to take this to the extended to focus on this new energy for you in love what do you need to know about that what do you need to know about them um and their energies so if you're interested in knowing that then check out the description box the extended will be linked there otherwise i'll leave it here capricorn thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the reading if you did hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already i'd love to have you and i will see you all in another video very soon take care